And Matt, are you ready for the Halloween ghost hunt? <laughs> Alright, so we're in the most haunted room in the building now. About to do my 10 minute stint. If I say 10 minutes, if I get scared after 5, I'm leaving. There's no way I'm staying for another 5. Um, Dino, over to you. I'm sorry about this, but this is because of the X Factor forfeit. Colin's act went out first, so he has to now spend 10 minutes on his own in the most haunted room at Washington Old Hall. I am just about to start my stopwatch. Before you do, uh, let me just tell the viewers what I've got. I've got um, a walkie-talkie um, with the safe word of handle in case um, in case anything happens. Um, Colin, are you all right? No, I'm really scared. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, oh God, honestly, I cannot tell you. What else um, you got? I've also got a torch, which Mark wants to take off me, but there is no way you have to prise it out of my cold, um. dead hands. Uh, which, you know, ironically, is what is going to be in here. Um, I'm really not looking forward to this in the slightest. Look at these figures. Oh, Look at these geez. things here. <laughs> There's a slight, slight light when the when the light's off, which just gives this a lovely shadow, so it makes me think, oh, there's a person in the room. left in this big scary dark room which if I just get out of the way shot of the camera you can see is completely well, I say completely 99% pitch black um, I've got to spend 10 minutes in here I'm gonna do a few Blair witchy things oh the scary thing. whoa what the f there was a knock I'm getting my torch out I don't there was a knock just there on the wall sorry I've got the torch on I don't know why ghosts don't like lights, but I am no way turning this torch off because it's too scary in the dark. Stop knocking on the walls, people. Come on. Don't mean to swear, but f me. Please don't take that as an invitation, girls. So Colin is still downstairs in the room, so I thought while you're waiting for something interesting to happen, let's have a look at Washington Hall, because we've got the lights on and it looks wonderful. I mean, if you look here, they're gold medal winners of the um, Britain in Bloom regional competition, Washington Village, well done. There's a reasonable explanation for everything. Of course there is, there's scientific, scientific evidence that ghosts don't exist, surely. They can't exist, it doesn't make sense. So why am I freaking out? We have paintings. This is Mount Vernon, uh, a lovely tree and thing. Um, we have chairs, lots of chairs in Washington Hall. If you ever need to sit down, come here. Well, oh, there's another knock, there's another knock. Every time I come over here, there's another knock. It's... The wall is by one meter to my left right now. I don't want to be in here any longer, um, I think. And also the authentic widescreen plasma TV from the uh, 1300s. I do believe that's the one Washington brought back from America and uh, installed here with his own hands like he chopped down that cherry tree. Right. It's five minutes since Colin went in the room downstairs and um, we have a walkie talkie to speak to him. He's been talking non-stop to himself since we shut that door on him. It's down below here. So, uh, we're gonna creep in and see if we can scare him just by shouting down the, uh, down the walkie talkies. Well, there's a noise outside the door, I'm convinced he's still not there. Already on the floor. I don't know what's going on. What's he saying? He's just blabbering up. Scratch on the floor. So we're walking around upstairs, which. Which I presume is there. It's got to be there. There's no way that ghosts walk around on the ceiling. When, when did they develop the, the ability to walk upside down? It's human. It's got to be human. Four minutes. Colin, we're just checking in on you. You all right? I think so. I think I can hear you walking around though. We sat down about 
four minutes ago. We've just been sat in the kitchen. Someone was walking around and telling you it was definitely human because it was too loud to be a ghost. It was too heavy. Well, Mark says he hasn't been walking around. I've just got in the kitchen and that's where Dean, Mark and Joanna have been sat. We've just got in the kitchen, so you walking around. Uh, if it was in the last 30 seconds, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Carry on. Uh, how long have we got to go? Five minutes, five minutes. How long's he got? Five minutes. Three, five, minutes. three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Alright, I can hear him walking around again. Can anyone like can you just all sit down and not move? Colin thinks he had three minutes left last time we talked to him, but he doesn't have a watch. So, although he has actually got 20 seconds left, we're going to leave him in for another five. If there's a ghost in here, it's upstairs, or walking on the ceiling, in which case, the human. If humans don't walk on the ceiling, I'm going to leave. Around there, you know. <laughs> He's asking the ghost to bang. Make that noise again. Holy <laughs> f what the f was that? I really hope that was one of them. Holy crap. Um, As soon as I turn, whoa, oh, the f Right, that's it, I'm out of here. This is, oh, and the camera's out of focus, which scares me a little bit as well. Why did we go out of focus? Right, okay. Right, we're done in here. Coming to get you. This is me by the door. Thank you. We're coming in. Is that a light switch? Lights on. How did it go? Colin Grease, still alive? I'm so alive. I can't, can't tell whether it was you guys walking around in the last few minutes especially there was a big bang there I said make him another bang they made another bang um, <laughs> we were all we were all, we were in the little chair room there, just sat it down. Was, it's like someone was walking on the ceiling constantly um, and then no. they kind of moved across um, no one touched me but mainly because if there is any ghostly apparition in here I said whatever you do don't touch me do not make anything else just move something or make a noise and I'm sure it'll get picked up. There's some big bangs on the camera. Um, Did you get anything on the? Uh... Mainly me saying I'm quite scared. I'm gonna turn the torch on. Um... <laughs> Did you turn the torch on? The torch was on for some of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, whenever there was a bang, I'm not, there was a scurrying around in this corner as well. I'm not kidding. Um, and this carpet or whatever it is, that doesn't help. That makes a noise in the slightest movement. It's. it's... <laughs> So, I was, I, well, it wasn't as bad as I was expecting. So but. that's the X Factor challenge over for you. Thank God, so which means the, the next three, they're going to be even worse. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs>